Here we go again. <laughs> so we had a little bit of a goof up earlier, but we're all fine and dandy now. You just mentioned a blooper that you just deleted. How could you? Because... What is wrong with you? Because it wasn't a funny blooper. It wasn't a funny blooper. And you it, don't know that. They don't know that. Anyway, uh... Hello. Hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. Uh, Leo's actually back in town, but he's not joining us on this insanity trip. I do not blame him. Indeed. Yes. Uh, I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right. do we? I can't imagine it's going to be good news. But it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Yeah. So I'm going on ahead. Can't really do anything except what Monica would tell us to do. If I recall right, we're going to the gym. <laughs> Sorry about that. Salud. I was derp map. We need to go to the gym. So. Oh, we're not going to talk to the gangster. No, no, no. We should actually just get this. Get this on. Oh fuck. Hey, Fumi. Hey, Fumi. How come you haven't gone in yet? What <laughs> is that, Mister Nagi? Don't scare me like that. Ugh. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. What? I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I, I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. <laughs> Alright, let's follow Chestnut Man into the dark. You mean beaver face. Hmm. Asking us to gather all together all of a sudden, like this, what could he possibly want? Well, indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um, How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? The douche cannot. Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? That's... There's something totally messed up with you if you can't laugh at, if you can laugh at a time like this. Hmm. Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day by day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I am not in denial! That reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come to help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... That's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange, that's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm. On the contrary. The mastermind may be just that powerful to take even control of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's, not like some it's about last night. I was near the hero. main hall just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know, but if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess? Oh no. A construction the site? The bear has been busy. Yeah, I mean, I could be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. Now you definitely made it up. It must have been just the sound of the ocean and th that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Coco? I really would have loved if you'd said Willis. <laughs> that would have just been perfect. Anyway, anyway, the bear makes his big fat flop on the table. So long as nothing else is big, fat, and flopping. Hey. He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? Why? Or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> That can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? <laughs> Beyond this point, my mouth is set. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered. Go ahead and puff her up and watch this feminine go right up your ass. It's a slip secret little secret. And? Fine, then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? 
You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, why don't I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching even is losing its shine and luster. I'm thinking, I'm probably becoming this ho-hum boring old everyday life. No, he's going to try to entertain himself. No, not the stimulation, not the danger, not the entry! No! Can I continue? No! Too bad. No! I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. No! Something ripe with danger and intrigue. I don't want the danger and intrigue! Listen, can I be frank? No, you could be dead. The next blackened hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey. Stay bored! So, I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. I'm already motivated! Don't motivate me anymore! Another set of... Oh, wait. Is it another set of videos or something? Yay. Oh, no! I think they showed us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder. Try you to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to try to kill each other anymore. We're yeah. going to succeed. I, I mean, we're not going to try to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. You bitch. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things that you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little bit skiing on my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. No! Oh, no! And those embarrassing memories and secrets... Oh, sorry, he was voicing that. Them out now. So take a second to take a peek. Oh, no. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name and written on it. Nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto went to bed until he was in fifth grade. That's tame! He is hopelessly average. What? What? How did you find out about this? Everybody started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. I would like to note that embarrassing est is not a word. It is he not a word. He doesn't care. I know he doesn't care. I care. It's driving me nah. I wonder if we can cla can we classify you as a grammar Nazi for this shit? No. <laughs> anyway. Maybe I'll roll up, roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? I'd rather that instead you spill the beans or spill your guts, I say we spill all your blood on the ground. There is no blood, it's all fluff. <laughs> yep, you got it. It's all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? You know, it's just occurred to me. One of the things that we do in the editing uh, business is that we take the fluff out of the uh, most flowery of prose. Well, that's not the... Well, so Monica... I am a very, very well-versed expert in deep fluffing. <laughs> it's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill over something like that. You'd never kill over something like that. What do you say? He's right! Your plan is doomed to fail! No one's gonna murder someone over this kind of thing! Oh no! Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still waiting to, uh, wait to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assume you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing the next motive. Man! You're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed, fair not well. F you! With an almost convincing look of depressed, de depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma rece receded into the gym's depths. Wanna know something? What? A dark secret of mine. What? I didn't wet the bed. I went a stage. Really? Yeah. Uh, apparently I was dumb and I didn't uh, consider the fact that drinking so much before a theatrical performance 
would be a bad idea. And yeah, that was uh, easily one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. But you know what? I walked away stronger for it. I have never been afraid of the stage again, yeah. despite the weirdness. And I'll also say this, because I'm going to tie this back to the game. I don't care what embarrassing secret I have, so long as that bear suffers. <laughs> well, he is suffering a little bit. He's a little depressed. I want to see him just a little bit more. Anyway, <clears throat> I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one? I mean, yeah, having no secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing, but that's obviously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? If we do that, any and all motive for murder will be vanished. That's quite smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I, I don't want to hear your stupid s story. What? Besides, I, I don't, I don't want, want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about, about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, come on. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly. You want to do it, or you want me to do it? As I said, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey! I said I don't want to talk about you, you and bag of lard! Say what? Yeah! I love that expression on Celeste's face. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. Ooh, someone's cracking. What do you think, Shihira? Uh, I'm uh, sorry. Sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But? But I also don't want to be want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later? After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So if you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. Toko? I hope you're right. A secret as bad as you kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay. Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but you hear me? each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Uh, oh, uh, oh, okay, uh, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... And with that, it's nighttime. Oh, great. All right, shut up, Monokuma. <clears throat> shut up, shut up, shut up. All right. He's not saying anything new, so blah, blah. So, are you going to be like Celeste and not reveal one of yours? Um, actually, my situation was kind of similar to yours, but in middle school. Ah. Wasn't number one, it was number two. Ooh. Yeah, that's Man. as far as I'm talking about it. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay, nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with anxiety. I just couldn't shake. But look at that. Look at the bottom. Wait. Oh, yeah. It's a letter, right? Yeah. Oh, it's one of those letters that has the secrets. I was wondering who that's for. Oh, that's Makoto's. I couldn't tell right away. We left things as they were but and left things as they lay. One by one, we head back to our rooms. All right. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuno was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would get killed over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. Cue the murder. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Someone died. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I can relate. Flop. Sleep. A tragedy was already taking place. Oh boy, it's Monokuma Theater. I don't give a fuck. A gun came into the picture now. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. I mean, for example, 
is the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions leave. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. I think I am, and I'm not too thrilled about it. Good morning! Oh no, you're <laughs> <laughs> Nice reaction. I'm glad you, to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? Because it's fun. No! And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. No! What? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? All right, back. Sorry about that. Here we are. What? 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 Your face is all blue like someone's on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Good luck! Something Bear. happened to someone. It, it, is it? What's, what? No, no, it can't be. There's, there's no way someone would. But what if? No. What else are pointless, especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Thank you for actually just sending us here instead of just a quick walk. Ah, ah Makoto. Um, Are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, see, Hina, Sakura, and... Byakuya. He's alive. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said, or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Um, so if something really happened, does that mean someone did did it because of what happened yesterday? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Hm. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? judge someone else's values based on your own up. Do you realize how dangerous that is? You are one to talk. What the heck? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the Stop saying that already. Um, There's something wrong with her. Serious. Did you get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game is afoot. All right. I already know where it is. So, let me pull up the map. Right, let's go. Uh, second floor. Nice to not keep secrets, eh? Eh. I just want to get move along as fast as possible. Oh, sorry. And... The door to the girls' locker room. I have no way of unlocking it, so I couldn't go in if I wanted to. Hmm. Huh? The door is open. But aren't these supposed to be locked? Oh, no. For this investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Investigation. All clear now. Just as I, I thought. Byakuya. Judging from what you said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on. And the locker rooms. You're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> It seems nobody's searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. You pervert! 
He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the door's lock, girl's door locker room. Whatever. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh, no! What? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did... A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Damn it! Shihiro's dead. You had no way to know. You you did not see that coming, did you? I can kind of guess who might be responsible. I can think of a few suspects off the top of my head, but I'd also like to see the evidence too. Yeah, I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. A little florally, Makoto. A little floral. Yakuya, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, as if he was watching this all unfold on front of a TV screen. I see. Look. Oh, wait. Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something's been written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust? Alright, alright. <clears throat> Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They, but they killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. The murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Hmm. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was really too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my mind... Hey, I heard screaming! Did something- ah! uh, I think he's gotta be covered there. Yeah, he's got a really crazy scream. Aw, oh, I did not know it was coming, so you'll have to forgive me for that. Also, why the hell is that picture on the wall behind Chihiro? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! What the hell was that? Ah, oh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement? The Chihiro really is... Naturally. Dead, yes. <laughs> Before you start screaming your head off, go around everyone up and see if another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover a killer. Uh, Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time had passed at all. It was like my sense of time had just taken a wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had, had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there gathered around Shahiro's body. She's got an aura around her. Dude, if she gets any anger, she's gonna go Super Saiyan. <laughs> Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. Yeah. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. <laughs> You've been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. I'll leave this there. <laughs> Shut up. <sighs> All right. Word bloodlust is written on the wall of blood. I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But, but oh, you want to do this, or you want me? You to do, do it. it. All right. I'll do it. Yoga for Vince. Alright, but you know, that thing about writing bloodlust and blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? A 
murderous yeah. feet. Yeah. We've yeah. already heard this before, so I'm just going to skip through this. All he right. was talking about the serial killer Genocide Jack. Genocide Jack. The murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend. Creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. For real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! There's no way! But going so far as to write bloodless at the scene, I am surprised at their stupidity. Well, I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Uh, what is it now? Toko! Ina was pointing towards the entrance of the girls' locker room. Huh? Oh, boy. Remember, she's got a fear of blood. Ah! Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. No! Why? 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 I'll leave it at that. And she fainted. She fainted! That did not sound good! Toko! Hina rushed over to collapse Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh, that's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. So she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. Uh, um, this is a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. No, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like on purpose. Hmm. Oh, so she did, since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count? Gotcha. Just a second. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As uh... if she heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake, as in literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction, I was at a total loss for words. She kept straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Um... You okay there, Toko? Your tongue's kind of hanging out. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her emotions were totally haphazard. Uh, what? Sorry about that, I was just shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? Togo, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> what was oh that, that body? Hey, are you dead? God. What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. I think I've got a new theory. The world has a front and a back, a top inning and a bottom. The, the same truth is and a web of lies. Wow. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. Yeah, she's... No, 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 everything's fine. At least the sun herself gone. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> I see. Oh my god. Anyway, keep... It seems clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. Don't be alone with her. I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, could you help me? Ah, she totally ignored me! Hmm. Very well. You take care of the girl. The rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on a second. Rushing into investigation? The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize it. Oh, <sighs> don't make me repeat. There is no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monaku? Of course! Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing, it's just a fact of life. Because that's how graduation works! Yeah. Then this happened again, is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us killed a fellow classmate. Mm -hmm. What, does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Is there nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Fuck you! Just fuck you! Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry! Stop talking. Double fuck you. <laughs> Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> it's your did, chum! See ya later! 
Do we really have to do another investigation? Examining the corpse of one of our friends, having to sp suspect all other, all our other friends. Hi. I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh. I hate it too. Oh. I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. You are very enthusiastic about all this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump in so soon... What? Do you want to die? Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. Damn you. A dead body is an object? Chihiro wasn't an object! Show a little respect or I'll beat some into ya! Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byaki has said. Kyoko! Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byaki is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro, That's right. then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims! If we mess it up, we're all dead meat! Hey! Hey! Hold on! Hold on! If that's your worry, don't... You don't worry... Gotta worry any longer! If any... It ain't one killing game. The guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually, I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. Just one totally, just, just one would totally murder that possibility. Oh God, the pun. That hurt. Uh, I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. Hmm. Interesting. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up. So, um... Well. For now, Taka and me are going to drop Toko off at her room. Nice! I'm going to get dropped off! There is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation too sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, is that okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We have no other choice. And with that, we'll see that... We'll start the next episode off with the investigation. Oh, no! Later, guys.